What's up guys, Super Saf here, and this is the MSI Creator Z16, as well as the Creator Z16 Hiroshi Fujiwara Limited Edition. This has been made in collaboration with Fragment Design, the world famous streetwear brand directed by the godfather of street fashion, Hiroshi Fujiwara. Now, I believe this is one of the first videos in the world with the limited edition, so a thumbs up for your boy would be appreciated. Now, as the name suggests, these are laptops that have been designed from the ground up for creators. And guess what I am? A content creator. I spend most of my time editing video images, doing lots of motion graphics, and that's what the Z16 series is all about. Now, I wanna start off by talking about the display. So we do have 16 inch, Quad HD plus 16 by 10 displays. And MSI call this the golden ratio, which is ideal for content creators. For example, if you're editing video, you can have your timeline across the bottom without having to sacrifice too much vertical screen space. Now with the Z16, you do have a 120 Hertz refresh rate, making things super smooth. And there's also 100% DCI P3 color gamut, making things very, very accurate. You can get this with or without touch. Personally speaking, I don't use touch much on a laptop, but what is great about the Z16 is that you can put it all the way down to 180 degrees. Now in a situation like this, if you're presenting something around the table, for example, having touch is super, super convenient. Now the limited edition takes things even further. So we've got a 165 Hertz refresh rate, making things even smoother, but more importantly, we have a peak brightness of 1000 nits. That's right, 1000 nits peak brightness on a laptop display. That is the most I've ever tested on a laptop. Generally, most laptops have between 400 to 500 nits. Having 1000 nits is amazing, especially when it comes to image editing. You do need all of that brightness. And for me, I'm always wearing sunglasses when I'm outdoors. Absolutely awesome. Let's now move on to the design. So we do have a CNC milled aluminum chassis, which is very sturdy. There's really not much flex whatsoever around the laptops. And the Z16 comes in this lunar gray, which looks really nice. But for me, the Hiroshi Fujiwara limited edition is what it's all about. I absolutely love this matte black finish with the laser etched glossy logos. It gives it a very unique look that really stands out. Now the design is also really compact. They weigh around 2.2 kgs, and the Z16 is just over 16 millimeters thin. The limited edition is actually slightly under 16 millimeters thin. Now, especially considering the performance that these pack, having that super thin size as well as that weight is so convenient, I can easily just throw these into my backpack and it's not really gonna weigh me down. And speaking of performance, the Z16 is available in either an 11th gen Intel Core i7 or i9 processor with a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU, up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 RAM, and you can have up to two NVMe PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. This also has the world's thinnest 0.1 millimeter sharp edge fan blade design with three fans and five heat pipes for sustained performance. Now I generally edit my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have 4K video that's recorded on my Sony A7S 3 and this has been absolutely fine for editing that as well, as well as very large size Adobe Photoshop files. Now I'm somebody who doesn't game much but my buddy Tom the tech chap has tested this for gaming as well, and it's more than capable. You can see some of the frame rates here on the screen. I'll link his video down in the description below. Now, if we take a look around initially at the keyboard, this is the world's first mini LED per key RGB keyboard. This means that you have around 28% higher brightness, as well as 23% average energy saving compared to normal LED keyboards. Now the keyboard feels great. You've got plenty of travel and the trackpad as well works really well and is also super clicky. Love that, can you hear it? There's also a fingerprint scanner with Windows Hello just below the keyboard. I actually prefer this position. I know some people might prefer it on the power button, but for me, this is a lot more reachable. For ports, you do have two Thunderbolt 4 ports, 
two Type A USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and you have one each on either side, which makes things very convenient. There's an audio combo jack as well as a micro SD card reader. Now, personally speaking, I would have preferred a full size SD card slot because most of the cameras that I use do have full size SD. There's Wi Fi 6E, so if you do have a compatible router, you'll be able to take advantage of those speeds. And for speakers, we do have a four series speaker setup by Dyn Audio, and they sound really, really good. We've got decent amount of separation. Generally, when I'm editing videos, I don't need to plug in headphones, I can just use the speakers here on the laptops. Right, now for the battery, we do have a 90 watt hour battery, which does support fast charging with the included 180 watt power adapter. Now usage is obviously gonna vary from person to person. If you're doing some light usage, you can get quite a few hours on this. In my experience, when it comes to editing images and video on a full charge, you can get on average around three hours of usage. I generally do tend to keep my power adapter with me though, because obviously you are pushing out a lot of pixels with that refresh rate, as well as that peak brightness. Finally, pricing. Now the Z16 does start at around 1900 pounds in the UK. That is for the base model, but I'm gonna be leaving some links down in the description below, which will give you the latest pricing and availability, including for the limited edition. What do you guys think of the MSI Creator Z16 and the Hiroshi Fujiwara limited edition? I'm personally absolutely loving the limited edition, especially with this matte black finish. And I can see myself using one of these as my daily drivers as a content creator. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future coverage like this. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.